Hey, welcome back to the Steve Molesberg Show, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just to catch you up, uh, of course, we've talked about uh, Ukraine today and uh, what's going on over there. Uh, we shouldn't overlook what's happening uh, in Venezuela, and uh, that is the fact that the, uh, the security forces uh, arrested the opposition leader, uh, Leopoldo Lopez, yesterday on charges of fomenting uh, unrest that's killed at least four people. Uh, bringing tens of thousands of angry protesters into the streets of Venezuela. Uh, crowds of white-clad protesters stood in the way of the vehicle carrying um, the, um, uh, uh, Lopez, who's a 42-year-old Harvard-educated economist, after he made a defiant speech. Um, and um, it, it, it's just not good. He made an emotional farewell to his family, and he gave himself up to soldiers. The vehicle did a re a, a, a eventually reach the military base. Um, Opposition leaders hope that uh, Lopez's arrest will galvanize street demonstrations and uh, uh, against President uh, Nicolas Maduro, who is nothing but, uh, uh, you know, an extension of uh, of uh, the former president of Venezuela, Hugo Chavez. And uh, it's a uh, it's a terrible situation, uh, an awful situation, a horrendous situation. I don't know that I've heard Barack Obama weigh in on what's going on down there in Venezuela. He may have. I'm not aware of it. I'm certainly aware of him weighing in on what's happening in, uh, in Ukraine. Uh, but um, it, it is a shame. Now, we had hoped to have had uh, uh, Maria Conchita Alonzo on. We're trying to find her. Hopefully, we'll get her. She's a very passionate uh, supporter of democracy in Venezuela and in Cuba. She's from, uh, she has a history in both Venezuela uh, and Cuba as well. She was Miss Teenage Venezuela at one point in her, in her uh, career, illustrious acting uh, career. Uh, by the way, we have breaking news that uh, airlines are being warned of shoe explosives on flights coming into the U.S. from overseas. Now, we all remember the uh, shoe bomber incident here in this uh, country or in the skies over uh, America. And uh, now, uh, Richard Reed, I think his name was, of course, and now uh, we have new warnings of, uh, of the possibility of uh, more shoe bombers with shoe explosives. Now, I don't, I mean, I, I, I was just under the impression that they, they inspected everybody's shoes all over the world. Maybe that's not the case. All right, we do have Maria Conchita Alonso with us, a famous actress and singer, and um, as I just described her. Hello, Maria. Steve, how are you? Good. Good to talk to you. Likewise, likewise. All right, so all heck breaking loose in Venezuela with the arrest of uh, Leopoldo uh, Lopez yesterday. Just a terrible situation. What, what do you know that, about what's going on down there? Uh, well, the, uh, you know, the, all the, the, the country is out asking for, you know, to liberate him, to get him out. Uh, they're now um, waiting for, uh, I think, at 4.30 or something like that. This, the, the, he's going to be, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, not in Congress, but um, uh, uh, where, the, where you go, I don't know how to say it in English, where you go and then they tell you, you know, you're charged for this and this and that, you know? An arraignment? Court? Uh... A court, yeah, like a, like a court, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and so, you know, this is the time for uh, a, everybody to be out on the streets um, and, uh, and not let go because we need him out. And um, he has surpassed uh, Enrique Capriles because this is the action that had to be done uh, uh, you know, a, a while ago, which hasn't been done. Um, it's, a, it's a dictatorship right now in, in Venezuela, and it's a danger for the United States, and something that I would like everybody here to understand, and I've been saying it for a long time. It is now not only a war against, you know, against uh, only, uh, you know, uh, uh, the Far East. Well, no, no, this is a war about the next, next door neighbors which are to the United States, in Venezuela, the Cubans are there, the Russians, the Iranians, uh, you know, the Chinese. Just now, uh, since, since the past few days, planes full of soldiers from Cuba have been arriving in Venezuela. Uh, Chinese are also arriving in Venezuela. And, uh, and what's the, 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 you know, the final point of all this is that they want United States. And, 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 and why is that so hard to understand? It's, it's, we have to pay attention. To, it, 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 we, and they're next door. Something really has to be done here to stop this invasion 
of uh, you know communism all over Latin America that slowly it's growing here in the United States. Well, look, once again, one of your Hollywood uh, friends, and I, I put that word in quotes, uh, um, and, and we're talking here about Oliver Stone, uh, over the weekend he was at a, um, a Students for Liberty conference, which uh, supposedly included a lot of libertarian uh, students, and uh, uh, he was confronted, according to uh, Andrew Creel of uh, Mediaite, he was confronted by a South American student uh, and asked about his disdain for America and America's overreach, supposedly, while he supports abusive left-wing regimes like that of the late Hugo Chavez. And according to Creel, Stone responded that he believes the American press does not give the Venezuelan administration a fair shake, um, and he's fine with political opposition as long as it's done legally. Yes. Um, it is true. Uh, I, I've been in awe that all this have, has been happening, and until yesterday, uh, you know, a, a little bit of press uh, has come out about, about what happened, uh, um, that what's happening. Uh, I, I really don't understand, the, the, you know, well, you know, I, 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 I don't know if they're paid or what, but the media, it's important to, uh, you know, to, to, to let the world know what's going on here. Uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's like... Um, yeah, but Maria, Maria, know, Oliver, let me just one more on Oliver Stone. He went on to say, according to uh, Chris Moody from Yahoo, uh, who was at the conference, he said, quote, Venezuela is a democratically elected government. That's what he quoted Stone as saying. He said, these people who keep protesting are sore, sore losers. It's so wrong. It is so wrong. First of all, Nicolás, we have, we have won the quote-unquote election in the past year, but because all, every single power in, in Venezuela is owned by, by the regime, every single one, of course, they, you know, they, they can do whatever they want. Much more time. These students were, so, were tired of, you can't find uh, food, you can't find medicine. If you don't go, you know, if you go to, out of your home to visit your mom or to take your kids to school or whatever, just your life is in danger. Every week, hundreds of people are killed uh, uh, by the huge crime that exists now in Venezuela. So they, isn't, isn't it better to just go out and, and do something and stop this once and for all? And the students have no arms, they, you know, I mean, I'm not arms, no, the, the machines, uh, ammunition, they have nothing. They, and, and the militaries are out and infiltrated with a lot of Cubans there, and they're the ones attacking, not only with those uh, bullets, I don't, I don't know how, how you're called, I mean, they're attacking with real bullets and with the other ones that, are, that do hurt and open holes in your body and everything, but they're not real ones. Um, uh, four, four students have been killed, uh, three students, and one girl was killed, uh, uh, died this morning early. Another kid, that 17-year-old kid, was ran over by the SUV from someone from the, from the PDVSA, from the government. So uh, it is not true. The, the, the kids are out on the streets, uh, you know, trying to save uh, a country, trying to tell the Cubans, you get out of here, Maduro, you have to renounce. And, uh, and, and this is, we can't back out now. We can't back out. And, and, and you're, we, call, you're calling on the U.S. media to tell the story. I am calling on the, yes. And, and what I do, since I don't see much of it, every, I mean, every day I'm, I'm in Twitter uh, because I believe that's a very powerful, you know, uh, 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 media. Uh, and I'm sending to everywhere. I'm sending to CNN. I'm sending to Fox. I'm sending to Anderson Cooper. I'm sending to, every, you know, Barack Obama, uh, John McCain. Everybody, videos and photos of what's going on. I stay up till like 5 in the morning sending to Europe, to Germany, to France, to Italy, to Spain, uh, even Japan. Because... If, they, if the media doesn't do it, we got to do it. Again, I say, this is not, not only uh, a, a, a problem in Latin America. The, the target is United States. Right. Well, you are, you are an example to be held up uh, and someone who is passionate and someone who tells the truth. Just one more, I'm trying to, one more on, on, on people like Oliver Stone and Oliver Stone in particular. What does he do for the cause? I mean, it, it, no, no. Oh, he gets money. <laughs> for his cause. No, but what does he know? do? I mean, the, saying that the, that the government that, of Venezuela is a democratically elected government and that the people in the streets are sore losers, I mean, how could he think that? Because, he's, because I believe, I mean, if he's not getting paid anymore, he got paid a lot of money and has to do this. Well, who's no, paying? Wait, wait, who paid him? Who paid him? 
Well, you know, when the, the, the regime, when Chavez was, uh, was alive. And they paid him to make movies there and all that? Yes, yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. of yeah. course. So he's saying, this, he's saying this because of, uh, he's making money out of Venezuela. Yes, and the same thing years ago, Danny Glover got paid, uh, 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 I don't know how many millions, I can't remember, now if it was right. 17 million or 20, to make a movie about the, 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 one of the first presidents from Haiti. Right. Whatever. Hasn't done anything, you know. It's all about money, and it's all about power. Maria, about uh, for you, it's all the United States. For you, it's all about uh, what's right, and I really appreciate it. And keep doing what you're doing. And thanks for coming on. We'll get you the link. You could send it out to everybody all over the world. Please. Also, I want to invite uh, those here in Los Angeles on Friday. We're having a vigil in front of the Walt Disney Hall, where Gustavo Dudamel, you know, he's from Venezuela, and he's the, the symphony director, very well known very talented guy but he's silent is uh, makes him in, in you know in favor of uh, the regime he's, he has been friends with with uh, Chavez he's, he, he played uh, Monday in Venezuela when all this chaos was going on in, 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 you know, in on the streets so we're gonna be there Friday this Friday at 6 30 in the morning dressed in black with white candles giving pamphlets to the people that will go into the theater. Wow. We're calling for a boycott, okay? We just, we just want the truth to be passed on, so everybody's invited. Okay, it sounds, uh, sounds good, Maria. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Steve. Nice and, talking and good to afternoon you. to you all. You too. Maria Conchita Alonzo, ladies and gentlemen, uh, very passionate and uh, just outrageous that someone like Oliver Stone could say those things. Criticizes the U.S. as an evil government, or I'm paraphrasing, but... You know, but, but, but Venezuela, they're democratically elected. They're, that's a good government. You got to wonder. You really do. All right, we're coming back. Steve Malsberg on Newsmax Television. The Steve Mal